you had a molecule with like a single, or if you had a molecule with a double bond and a triple bond, it'd be two sigma three pi. Yeah, if you had a molecule like uh, CH two, C eight, CH two, CH, uh, CH. Yeah, and you put a carbon triple bond CH. There we go. Has a double and a triple bond. So the double, there's a pi from that one, and another two pi's from that one. Total three pi bonds here. So these tables you need to know in your head coming into the exam because we'll have you count things like this up. Yeah. I'm confused why there's like you know what you have hybridization you have like sp3d and you have like and why don't you have like and why don't you have like uh, pi bonds there? Oh, yeah. they'll have these kind of bonds there, but we don't get into it. Oh. So as far as this material here, it focuses okay. in on this category only. You'd have to take P chem, physical chemistry, uh, to get into these other ones. We just don't do that in this class because the d orbitals get a little messy. Okay, so for an example of this, if the concept's okay. We just give you a molecule. Uh, It's an organic chemistry thing. Um, it has to have an H there, otherwise it would break its octet. Yeah. Uh, and then I forgot a couple of things. H is here. Okay. So here's kind of a common question. One thing we could ask you, how many sigma bonds are here? Seventeen for sure. Anybody get more? I got seventeen. So watch if you didn't get seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then a single bond right here. Fifteen and then one to this hydrogen, 16, and one to this hydrogen, 17. Yeah, if there's two atoms, there's definitely a bond. Yeah, there's just no way about it. There's going to be a bond there, for sure. Okay, so 17 sigma bonds, that's just adding up all the total bonds. Pi bonds, how many pi's? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So the other kind of question we could ask you about this is hybridization. So let's try one of those. Uh, we'll just go one at a time. Uh, oh, this carbon right there. Yeah, that one's sp2. It has three groups. Oh, this carbon right there. Same three groups, sp2. This one? SP2. Do I have an sp3 hybridized atom in this picture? Is there an sp3? Yeah. I see one. You know which one it is? This one? It has two groups, one, two because this counts as one group. So this is actually sp. That's right, the nitrogen. 
This has one, two, three bonds and an undrawn lone pair. And nitrogen has to have an octet. Yes, tricky, tricky. So that's sp3. Well, now you know. Are there other sp hybridized atoms? Sp. Sp. All these. Uh, not that one. That's sp2. But this one is sp, and this one's sp because they both have two groups. How about all hydrogens have what orbital? All hydrogens. Just S. Yeah, just an S. One bond, that's an S. It's not hybridized, but it's an S orbital. I have a question with that. Yeah. I'm not sure if it entirely relates to this, but now that you mentioned it, you remind me of it. You said that not all of the atoms, of the elements will have um, octets. That's right, not all. Wait, which, which ones don't? Which ones don't have an octet? That would be hydrogen. Basically, anything to the left of carbon. Okay, maybe I'll say it this way. The following do have octets. Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. The rest may not. Those are the only four that will definitely have an octet. If it's bigger than those, so below carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine, it can have an expanded valence shell, which means it's got more than octet. If it's uh, to the left of carbon, so boron, hydrogen would be included, it's less than an octet. If it's any metal, which is most of your periodic table, any metal would have less than an octet. Okay, so almost all of them, <laughs> except for four. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, you know how you say you don't put any lone pairs on the hydrogen? Yeah. Are there any other ones that you don't do that for? Is that what you're talking about? Carbon won't have lone pairs. Oxygen and nitrogen always will. Uh, if they're a neutral formal charge. Okay. Let's do a couple bond angles. What's the bond angle on this carbon right there? 120. 120, so it's called? Uh, trigonal planar. How about this one right there? 180, so it's called linear. Uh, and how about this nitrogen? The only nitrogen. Tetrahedral. 109.5, and it's uh, molecular geometry. Trigonal pyramidal, because it has one lone pair. Okay. Is that okay for sigma and pi bonds?